family of a Hobart teenager who died in detention yesterday is demanding answers from the state government. They say he was denied medical care despite his mother's plea for help. But the minister responsible, Lynn Thorpe, says proper procedure was followed. The death in custody is the latest in a string of child protection controversies. Craig Sullivan died in his bed at the Ashley Youth Detention Centre. A spokeswoman for his family says the teenager hit his head in a car accident after a police chase four weeks ago. She says he was taken to Ashley on remand and since then had been complaining of escalating headaches. If we had a child and they were sick and we didn't take them to the doctors, well then welfare would step in and class us as unfit parents. What makes them different? They've got the care of our children. The family say Sullivan spoke to his mother on Saturday and said his head felt like it was going to explode. She then spoke to staff at the detention centre and begged them to take her son to hospital but was told he would have to wait to see a doctor on Monday. Public hospital doesn't cost him anything. It cost him a couple of hours wages for someone to take him in. Is a couple of hours wages worth a life? The minister says there are doctors and nurses available for detainees but she's not sure how often they are there. As the responsible minister, I'll be making sure that the details of what has occurred are found out exactly and made available to the Tasmanian community. Sullivan's mother says she again called the detention centre. They assured her one o'clock in the morning that he was sleeping all right and, you know, they'd checked on him. And then a few hours later, he's deceased. Uh, that doesn't add up. The 18-year-old was found unconscious. Staff and paramedics were unable to revive him. All the young people who go to Ashley are the responsibility of the Department of Health and Human Services and there are procedures in place for their care. As far as I understand, all proper procedures were followed. The state opposition fear it's another systemic failure in the child protection system. The death comes on the back of criticism of the minister's handling of a child prostitution case involving a 12-year-old ward of the state. At the moment she has 45% of all public servants working for her in this state as well as in charge of 40% of our state budget. So is this beyond her control? A post-mortem has been carried out today and the family says it's been told the initial results show the teenager died of an abscess on the brain and meningitis. Jane Bestwick, ABC News.